What led to the division between labor compensation and productivity in the 1970s? For each individual labor hour, we produce double the GDP that we used to. But the labor compensation hasn't grown as much. This is a hot research topic. You'll find conservative think tank economists calling this productivity pay gap a pernicious myth. And you'll find liberal economic think tanks feature it prominently. Most of the disagreement centers on a technical question of price measurement. Let's walk through this graph. The solid black line is productivity per hour, which uses producer prices to control for inflation. At the bottom in the red is median labor compensation, which uses consumer prices to adjust for inflation. The blue line is average compensation. When the mean is bigger than the median, it indicates increased labor inequality. Now, most interestingly is the purple line. This is mean compensation, but with the producer price index adjustment. The pay gap shrinks dramatically. Note, you could really see the difference here. When wages are adjusted using consumer prices, there's no relationship. But when wages are adjusted using producer price, the relationship between productivity and compensation is stronger. Note, the gap still exists and that the purple line is the mean compensation, not the median. So what's going on? You can see there's a split between the two price measures also corresponding with roughly the same time period. The argument goes that if we care about how much a business compensates labor, we need to use the prices that businesses are operating. The counter argument, of course, is that a household only cares about the consumer cost of living. Either way, we still see the pay gap using other measures that don't rely on this price debate. The share of total income going to labor has declined. However, note that this starts around the year 2000 rather than the 1970s. So to go back to the original question, what's causing it? The research is still quite active, but the most prominent hypotheses are as follows. Automation and robot, a general decline in productivity growth over the past 50 years, globalization and offshoring, greater capital accumulation, reduction in worker bargaining power, as well as more monopolies and increased markups.